I like it too, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats, dogs, and frogs, my name is Darius P, and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 Come out tutorial. We rocking with Kenshi and the Darius cameo in this one. Let's get to it. We starting off with Slice and Dice, the 4 2 2. Look just like that. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so after Slice and Dice, we going into the Enhanced Rising Karma, the back four three. Now to enhance the move, you just press your block button at the exact same time that you press the attack button, right? Now let's go from Slice and Dice into Rising Karma. Look just like that. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so after Rising Karma, we going into Hilting Flower, the jump two. Very, very easy. Now let's go from Slice and Dice down to the jump two. Mm. And, and you will need to jump forward when you are doing this. And also, right after I do Rising Karma, I am holding up forward, right? Already holding up forward so I can jump as soon as possible, right? Just like that, let's keep it moving. Okay, so after Hilton Flower, we going into Tornado Kick. There's his cameo by pressing R1 or RB. Now, don't worry about it connecting right now. It is not supposed to. But what you do want to do is press your cameo button immediately after you do that jump too. Just like that. Now, let's go from Slice and Dice down to Tornado Kick. And once again, it is not supposed to connect right here. Let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so after Tornado Kick, we going into Face Breaker, the standing four. And standing just means you're not pressing back, forward, down, or up. You are just standing there and you press D4. Okay, now let's go from Rising Coma down to that standing four. Now you see, you see, now you see the vision, right? Let's look at that one more time. And you just want to press that standing, that standing kick right be, I mean, right after you land, right? Now let's go from slice and dice down to the face breaker. Absolutely beautiful. Let's look at that one more time. Now. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so after Face Breaker, we bring in Sento out with Summon Ancestor, the down back one. Very, very easy, right? So standing for it into Summon Ancestor, just like that. And you just want to cancel it right after you do, right after you do stand for it, just go right into Summon Ancestor, right? Okay, now let's go from, well, let's try this. Let's try to go from the jump to all the way down to Summon Ancestor. Does this work? Whoa! Wait a minute! Okay, that actually works. <laughs> We're gonna have to figure out some stuff with that. Now let's go from Rising Karma down to Summon Ancestor. Just like that. Let's look at that one more time. Okay, now let's go from Slice and Dice all the way down to Summon Ancestor. Absolutely beautiful. Let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so after we bring Sento out with Summon Ancestor, we're actually going to do two moves at twice. You want to press forward three, right? And we're gonna get that move right there. And you wanna input this, input forward three, right after you see that Kenshi is available available to move forward. So what I do is I bring Sento out, right? And I immediately start holding forward, right? Now, Sento will be able to move before Kenshi. So you wanna make sure you press forward three right after you see Kenshi can move forward. I was just too far away, right? You see, right after Kent she moves forward, that is when you want to press that forward three. You actually have more time than you think to do this. Now, let's go from stand four. Well, this will not work, right? 
but you can practice the inputs. It is going to be just like that. Holding forward, I see Kenshi move, and then I press forward three just like that. Now let's go from tornado kick down to that forward three. Gonna look just like that. Now from that jump two. Absolutely beautiful. I didn't even know that worked to now. Now let's go from rising karma down to that four, three. Just like that. Okay, now let's go from slicing dice all the way down to that four, three. Just like that. Let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so after that four, three, we going into Chess Cracker, another standing four. And the names are just different because, I mean, it does the same thing, but the names are just different because one is in Cento stance and the other one is not. But after that four, three, just press standing four. Just like that, very, very simple noun from the face breaker. Just like that, and now from Tornado Kick. Okay, now from Hilting Flower to Jump 2. Absolutely beautiful, now from Rising Karma. Just like that, okay, now let's go from Slicing Dice all the way down to that stand, that second stand four. Let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so we're gonna finish this combo off with teamwork, the down back four. Now you can enhance this move to get more damage, but it's not necessary to enhance it, right? for this combo to work. And obviously enhancing it will give you more damage, but doing it regular, I said doing it regular, I said doing it regular, <laughs> will leave your opponent sandwiched in between you and Sento, right? Now let's go from that forward three. No, let's go from chest cracker into the teamwork. Just like that, okay, now from that four, three. Okay, now from Face Breaker. And obviously that doesn't combo, right? Just want to show you the, the inputs, right? Now from Tornado Kick. And that does combo right now from Hilting Flower. Okay, now from all the way from Rising Karma. Okay, now let's do the entire combo from Slice and Dice all the way down to Teamwork. Let's do this. Four ten, only one cameo usage and only one bar of meter. Let's look at that one more time. My name is Darius P. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video and would like to watch another one right now, you can do so by clicking on any one of the four boxes that you see on your screen right now. Also. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by hitting that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video.